Right, hey folks, today we're going to take a long overdue closer look at Revolta guitars. Let's get into it. <laughs> Hello ladies and gents, Jack here from Peach Guitars and as I say today we're finally getting around to taking a little bit of a closer look at Revolta guitars. But before we get into today's video detailing these guitars be sure to leave a like down below if you enjoy the video, comment down below with your thoughts as well and be sure to hit subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. This one we have left a little bit longer than perhaps we should, but that's simply because this is such a popular brand for us. It's very, very rare that we get a nice full selection of the collection of Revolta guitars that we carry. They just come in and go straight out the door again. Since we took the brand on around about two years ago, you may have seen sort of little smatterings here and there on the Peach channel. Uh, initially, John and I unboxed the first shipment that we received from them and kind of gave some first impressions and talked through kind of the the ethos of the brand as we understood it. And then later on, we got to chat with Dennis Fano, who's kind of the mastermind behind this company. A name you may have heard, Fano guitars were very, very popular a few years ago, right on the upper end of the boutique guitar market. He's recently kind of um, reconvened and reset up shop with Novo guitars. Revolta though was something that he decided to do in a totally different price bracket to those previously fairly exclusive, fairly expensive boutique kind of lines. So Revolta is a distillation of everything that Dennis Fano has learned over 20 years of guitar building and designing, but at a far more accessible price point. So being that this is at a much more accessible price point, it's nice to know that there's something for every kind of player, whether you're just looking for a straight six string electric with a few vintage design tweaks, um, or if you're looking for basses, uh, baritones, 12 strings, they kind of cover you for everything. But what I really like about the brand is that they completely have their own identity. There's nothing else on the market that looks, sounds, or feels anything like what these guitars do. They've totally got their own thing going for them. Now that may either float your boat or not, but you can't deny the fact that they're not trying to leech off anyone else's designs here. They're truly just doing their own thing in a very unique and a very cool way. <laughs> Okay, so we'll delve into some more specific model details in a moment, but just to kind of touch on what Revolta guitars do for every one of their instruments that we receive, these guitars are made in a Korean factory, but what's very cool about them is that they then get shipped to Novo Guitars in Nashville, where every guitar is individually worked on and set up and goes through extensive tweaking processes, which is quite a lot of labor that goes into every single one of these guitars. So considering that they're at the price points that they're at, you're actually getting an awful lot of value in the quality of these instruments. So if you'd like some more information on the backstory of the brand and the details behind them, you can go back and check out the videos that we did before. We'll link them in the description below. Today though, we're just gonna focus on the specifics of the models and take a closer look at their range. <laughs> So there's three main model families I'm going to focus on today. We've got the Combinata, which I'm holding right here, which if you've seen Revolta guitars on our channel before, chances are you've probably seen a Combinata of some sort. We recently did a limited run of Peach De uh, Dealer Select, those sky blue uh, satin finished Combinatas. Those are very cool guitars. You may have seen those fairly, fairly frequently. So we're going to take a closer look at the Combinata. We've also got the Mondata model, which is this cool quirky offset. And then new to us, the most recent model we've received is this Regatta, this dual humbucker, very cool semi-hollow guitar. So let's delve in. So the Combinata, there's a bunch of different variants of this model, and you may be a little bit confused by looking at the terminology either on the website or linked in the description below as to what these, all these letters mean. Let me break it down as simplistically as I can here. So the Combinata, this particular one that I've got here is an XVIIB. What that means, X means that you've got a tremolo piece on this guitar, tremolo tail piece. The V means that the guitar has body binding on the, on the top and the back. 
The two uh, eyes, or three in some case, denotes the number of pickups. So this being a two pickup guitar is obviously two eyes. And then this specific model also has a Bigsby tailpiece, hence the B. Now it's interesting to note that you can get a couple of different tailpiece options if you do want a tremolo on these guitars. You can either get the Bigsby, or as seen on the other Combinata down there, you've got the Duesenberg style uh, tremolo tailpiece. Both work very, very well, and both add that nice vintage quirk to the feel of these guitars. So aside from the tailpiece, Everything else on the Combinata is very, very simple and to the point, and I really like this guitar for that. In my mind, this is one of the best workhorse instruments out there, especially for the money. It's fantastic value. So just two uh, single coil P90 pickups in this guitar, volume and tone, three-way switch, nylon saddles on the bridge here, and 24 frets. So it's kind of an amalgamation of all these different components, taking some stuff from the kind of historical vintage side of the guitar market, but also they're not afraid to implement some more modern features like 24 frets into their guitar designs. So it's not very often that you'd see that combination, 24 frets with nylon saddles as an example, but it's a combination that works really well. And it's kind of a shame that more builders don't uh, kind of take these ideas and run with them. So this guitar has a chambered mahogany body, back and top. Uh, you've also got a mahogany neck, very, very comfortable sort of mid C profile, not too vintage and chunky, but also not too flat and modern. It's just that nice sweet spot right in the middle. It is a gloss finish, but it doesn't in any way feel sticky at all. If you're one of those players that's concerned about that kind of thing, just super comfortable, super sleek, and it all just ties in really nicely together. You've got a set neck design, with an extended contoured heel. So just a very, very comfortable and sleek design overall. And this thing plays incredibly comfortably as well, whether it's this one or those very nice satin peach editions as well. They all just have this very cool vintage quirky character to them that I really like. So you're also gonna hear a couple more clips of Combinatas in this video, including a 12 string variant, if that's your thing. And one thing I'll say about that is that the 12 string compared to most other electric 12 strings, is very, very comfortable and easy to play. The string spacing is just right. The tone of the P90 pickups really works well to get that chimey 12 string tone as well. You're also gonna hear a slight variant on the theme with a Combinata bass as well, which is basically the same essence, but obviously with the long scale length, only the four strings. So because this is such a simple design, it works on all these different platforms. That's something I think Revolta were very clever to do, not make these things too complicated or too specific, so that it works for any kind of instrument that they want to make.
Okay, so this beastie I've got here is the Mondata model. Obviously a larger body style, that, that classic offset thing, but once again, they've done their own thing with it. They haven't deliberately copied anyone else's designs. They've just taken influence and really decided to craft their own design. And this is something that Dennis Fano has always done very, very well, whether it was with those initial uh, original Fano guitars or more recently with the higher end Novo series, they've always got their own character by design. And that's exactly what Revolta have as well, just like I said, at a more accessible price point. So the Mondata is a little bit more involved. You've got some more advanced electronic switching going on. Three pickups on this particular model, which makes this an XV triple I. Uh, you've also got a Bigsby tailpiece on these guitars. I believe a standard, I think there are some hardtail versions as well but the Bigsby really comes alive on this particular guitar. It just really suits the whole thing. The tones that you can get out of these mini humbucking style pickups are a little bit sort of, um, a little bit more rounded. I think this guitar sounds great for clean. And to that end, there is a baritone version as well, which adds all that really nice low end kind of uh, pushed sound in the, in the lower frequencies. Just works really well with this body design. And once, you get, once again, you've got chambering, so it's nice and light. Despite being so big, it's very easy to wield. You get a bunch of different great sounds out of this and it makes a nice companion piece to that more sort of punchy and strident combinata. And this guitar is also sporting some of the new for 2021 limited edition finishes that we've received. This one being a metallic burgundy mist. When you've got guitar designs kind of as classic and timeless looking as these, any cool finish option you can add only makes things better. So check out the website for the full range of finishes available for these limited edition guitars.
So the third and final guitar model we'll talk about today is the newest one that we've received, which is this Regatta model. Now, when I saw this on the website initially and pictures of it, um, I kind of thought it was a little bit more obvious maybe where they'd got certain design cues for this model from, a little bit more of a classic thing. But actually seeing it in person, it seems it's taken on a completely different identity than what I originally expected. So you can kind of, you be forgiven for, you know, thinking that there's obviously some very distinct Gibson and Fender kind of crossover ideas here. But what they've done is they've taken all that and put it with the Revolta package. So you've got a semi-hollow design. This is the first time I remember seeing dual humbucking pickups on a guitar from them, which is a nice change. Once again, same as the Combinata, really simple feature set, just a traditional stop tail piece. Uh, with volume and tone three-way position switch. These pickups are voiced really, really well as well. These are the Brevetto pickups from them. Uh, not too hot, really clear. So it kind of gives you all the elements that you would expect out of a semi-hollow style guitar. But once again, just with a nice twist on the theme without copying anyone else's kind of ideas, but it still delivers that semi-hollow experience if that's what you're after. <laughs> Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed the playing clips that you'll have heard of all these different guitars. Hopefully you'll get a kind of an idea of the brand identity if you were unaware of that beforehand. If you're more interested in checking out the history of the brand, then you can check the video that will be linked in the description below with our original chat with Dennis Fano, where he kind of talked about what the state of Revolta is and what he wanted to do with the brand. And you can also check out our website, which will be linked below as well, which has the full range of Revolta guitars that we carry. There's a bunch of different variants, a bunch of different colors and pickup uh, and hardware configurations and stuff. So whatever you're looking for, I'm sure they will be the right feature set and spec for you. So there we go, folks. Thank you very much as always for watching. Be sure to leave a like down below if you've enjoyed today's video and make sure you comment down there as well with some of your thoughts on this very cool brand. Maybe you hadn't heard of them before. Maybe you were very well versed in what they do. Whatever it is, whatever you think of them, let us know in the comments below. And if you're new here, by the way, make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any content from us in the future. And even better, ring the bell so you're notified when we put out new videos as well. So thank you very much for watching. Take care and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.